Hello and welcome. Recently, some viewers have expressed interest in how to customize ArchISO with a local repository and add packages from the AUR. Your wish is my command, so let's get started. So here's our Arch Linux installation on the old iMac. Let's clear the screen and sudo pacman-syu, make sure we're completely up to date. Then sudo pacman-s, if needed, arch iso, and looks like we've got that already. Let's clear the screen and let's make dear the build directory and let's change into it. And git clone our AUR package under https colon slash slash AUR dot archlinux.org slash nethack dash git dot git because why not? So we've got that cloned. Let's install some prerequisites for this package build um, with uh, base dash devel cargo, gdb, gzip, and in curses. Make sure those are installed so we can build NetHack. Let's clear the screen. Let's cd into nethack-git. And let's do a make package. And it's building. And it's done. So let's take a look after clearing the screen what the output is. So we've got nethack-git.zst file, which is our package for our local repository. So let's cd back into the build directory and let's copy the user share arch ISO configs relang config to archcust and hit enter. Next, let's cd into archcust and make the local repository directory local slash repo. And let's copy that nethack package that we just built into the local repository and hit enter. Next, let's add the repository with repo dash add local slash repo slash custom dot db dot tar dot gz, which is our database. And the package is local repo nethack dash star dot zst. So we've added the package. Got one package in a local repository. Let's clear the screen and let's nano pacman.conf and let pacman know about our new local repository. So we'll uncomment the custom section, also sig level and server and update it. It's in home Steven build archcust local repo. And there we go. Next, let's edit the packages list. At the very end, we'll add a section for a custom repository uh, package. So we'll just make it custom packages from local slash repo. Go here and let's put nethack dash git in the list to install and incorporate in the ISO. Next, let's go back to the build directory and let's make the work and out directories for the working and output directories respectively. 
And let's run sudo make arch ISO. Dash V, dash W is the work directory, dash O is the out directory, and archcust is our configuration. I'm going to put my password in here for sudo, and we're off to the races. And now it's creating the Arch ISO root file system. And it's done. And here is our ISO we just created. Let's test it by booting into a KVM. Here we have our custom Arch ISO booted in a KVM. The fonts are a bit small, so let's fix that by typing set font ter-132n and hit enter. That's a lot better. So let's launch NetHack and hit enter. And there we go. NetHack's running. So we're playing as root. The role is monk, race is human, gender is male, and we're chaotic. Yes. There we go. So you can see um, NetHack's running great on our Arch ISO. It's a silly example, but uh, this is just a, a proof of concept, a demonstration. So there you go. This is how you set up a local repository in ArchISO, add a package that we've built locally from the AUR Git repository, and as you can see, everything's running fine. Thank you for watching. As always, if you want to see more of these, please like and subscribe, and do hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Be well, and see you next time.